The translation feature in the Messages app is one of my favourite new features in iOS 26. It completely removes the language barrier when you're messaging friends and colleagues and family because it will convert messages between the two languages seamlessly. In this conversation with Carmelo, I'm typing in English and they're typing in Italian, and yet we can both fully understand what each other are saying thanks to the translations. You can see here that as Carmelo replies, the writing at the top is in Italian and the writing underneath is in English. I can then reply in English and the message will get translated to Italian on their phone. As we're chatting, I can also customise how it displays on my phone. Like now, I'm getting the Italian and the English messages, but if I tap on the middle here, I can choose to view English only, and then the translation will just apply there, as if Carmelo was chatting to me in English the whole time. I quite like seeing both languages, I think it's really interesting, and it's a good way of learning those languages as well. And this setting will work either automatically, if messages can detect a language that's supported, that isn't your native language, or you can tap onto the contact picture at the top of the screen and turn on auto-translate. Here you can specify what language you want to translate to and from, and of course you can turn the feature off if you don't want to use it. Now I've re-enabled that feature, as I'm typing in the messages box you can see it's translating in real time what I'm saying in English to what they're going to see in Italian. And what's great is it also works in your group chats, it hasn't got to be just a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and it also works on phone calls and in FaceTime, both of which I'll demo in other videos. That's the translation feature in Messages built into iOS 26. It is super easy to use and incredibly, incredibly powerful. If you want to see what else is new on your iPhone, check out my channel down below and make sure you subscribe while you're there. See you next time.